And the Oddish goes, Ordish! Hmm. Interesting. And the Sandshrew goes, Peaky! What the? No. Sandshrew doesn't go peaky. That, that doesn't make any sense. I don't... I don't understand. Well, anyways. In this part, we're going to be catching the fourth member of my team. Uh, he can be found on the route to Vermilion City, as well as several other routes around, uh... Crap, I forgot what city is. The city with the, uh, psychic trainer, Jim. Um, obviously it's not going to be a Pidgey. I don't see why it'd be a Pidgey. I've had plenty of chances to catch Pidgeys before now. Uh, right here I'm switching to Butterfree as my first party member, because obviously it's going to be much easier to catch a Pokemon if I have Sleep Powder to, uh, put it to sleep. Okay, the Pokemon I'm trying to catch is an Abra. Uh, Abra's a bit difficult to catch because the only move it knows at this level is Teleport, which means it's going to run away in the first turn of battle unless you uh, prevent it from doing anything. In this case, I'm going to prevent it from teleporting away with Sleep Powder, and uh, I'm going to try to tackle it to lower its HP a bit. Let's see how that works out. Okay, so I end up killing Abra in one hit. Uh, the first attempt doesn't go over that well. Hopefully, uh, the next attempt will uh, do a bit better. So I'm searching through the grass, searching through the grass, walking through the tall grass. And out of nowhere comes a Jigglypuff. Uh, I didn't even know I could find Jigglypuff on this route, and I'm wondering why I'm finding level 5 Jigglypuffs when they're level 17 Pidgeys. You would think the level 17 Pidgeys would be uh, beating the shit out of these level 5 Jigglypuffs. Okay, several minutes later, I run into. A Pidgeotto. Now, this is a bit odd. I really didn't know you could find Pidgeotto on this route. I guess they really changed things up in yellow. I, maybe you can find a Pidgeotto in red and blue. I'm not sure. Okay, after like five minutes of searching, which isn't much, I find a second Abra. Uh, this time, I'm going to put it to sleep with Sleep Powder, switch out for Bulbasaur, my lowest level Pokemon, and try to lower his health with Tackle. Let's see how that goes. Uh, Bulbasaur's still named C because I couldn't name him his full name. Once we get to Lavender Town, I'll fix that. Okay, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. We just want to hurt him a little bit. Just want to shake him up. And it doesn't even do half, uh, half health. Now, I really didn't think this was going to work, but I didn't want to risk him waking up. So, I tried another Pokeball. And it catches him, surprisingly enough. I guess the uh, sleep status was enough. Abra, the Psy Pokemon. And uh, yes, I do want to give a nickname to Abra. And uh, here's me cutting away from the several minutes I uh, took to decide what to name Abra. I decided since uh, I'm going to evolve into a Kadabra eventually, and Kadabra carries spoons, I would name him after Spoonie, the uh, online personality from the Spoonie experiment. Well, this was part, well, this isn't even part 11, this is going to be a sub part, uh, it wasn't very long, I apologize for that, but I decided to do a lot of editing, you really didn't want to watch me just go through all these random encounters, did you? Well, next time we'll be heading to, uh, Vermilion, see ya.